Hello everyone, this video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 4.2.2.10 in Configuring Extended ACLs Scenario 1. This Packet Tracer is a part of the Cisco RNS Connecting Networks Version 6 curriculum. Now in this particular lab they kind of tell you most of what to do as far as the commands to type in but I figured I'd make a video just to kind of tell you why you're typing in this, some of this stuff as you go through it. Now remember with standard we did in our last lab we did numbered 1 through 99. With extended you do a number 100 through 199 or even higher. Uh, the thing with extended also is that you can do named but there's a lot more parameters you can do. With standard we can only do where a packet was coming from, the source. With, with extended we can do the source, the destination, what type of traffic is it, what protocol is it using, all types of stuff. Is it equal or less than or greater than a certain port number? We can do a lot of things with extended. So here they have you build this first uh, access uh, statement. It says this ACL permits FTP and ICMP traffic as listed above, uh, but FTP is not because FTP uses TCP. Um, again, we're, we're going to kind of build this. We only got one router, so we know we're going to be working on R1. Now remember too, I said the standard ACLs are placed as close to the destination. Uh, extended is placed close to the source as possible because you want to block anything instead of wasting bandwidth because you can put so many parameters around it. With extended, you don't want to do that because, uh, or sorry, with standard, you want to place it as close to the destination because you might accidentally block something that you actually need. All right. So they have us build this first one. It's going to be number 100. So we'll do access list. And they kind of have you question mark your way through. And that is really helpful um, with these. But we'll do permit. Here you see it says TCP or UDP. We could just do ICMP traffic. Um, if we just did the ICMP, which is kind of like pinging, then we wouldn't really capture you know, some of the other stuff. IP kind of captures them all. That's kind of like any. But TCP, OK? is the one that we're going to be using this time. Remember TCP versus UDP ports. TCP is reliable, UDP is not. Uh, 172.22.34.64, that's the network address. 0 .0 0.0.0.31, that's the wildcard mask for that particular network, okay? Now we want to do um, again the destination that was the source so where are we going to we're going to one computer which is host 172.22.34.62 and then we can equal to a specific port which we're going to do equal to and then FTP is actually a keyword well, you could do the port number which is 21 or the keyword here I think they want you to do the keyword which is FTP okay so that push out puts our first statement in there. Okay, it says all other traffic is denied by default. That's already in there, so we really don't have to do anything for that. Now let's do our next statement, access list, and it's going to be in the same access control list, permit. This time we want to do ICMP traffic. That will be for the pinging. We want to permit that. We're going to permit it from the same location, that whole network there, and going to that same destination, 172.22.34.62. Now, uh, oh, I put IT and CMP. Okay, now there's nothing that we really need to um, do there at the end because ICMP is a specific type of traffic. Now, remember, there's a deny any any at the bottom of extended once you activate an access control list. So it's just going to permit TCP and pings or ICMP. It's going to permit FTP traffic that's going over at TCP and ICMP traffic, which is pinging, from 
that network, 172.22.34.64, with that wild card or subnet mask going to that specific computer. Everything else is going to deny. Um, so we don't have to do anything there because it's already there. Now, then we're going to apply an interface G00, and they have you do IP access group 100N. So <clears throat> if we look at the network, they've already got our network labels for us. 172.22.34.64, that's this one over here, going to that server. Uh, wait. So we're coming from this network going to... Yeah, up here. So the server. Okay, that one is 34.62. So going up here, that should say 34.0. But anyway, um, so it's going up here to that server. Again, that one's a Cisco label. So when we think about the traffic, it's going to be at the closest to the source as possible because that's what we do with extended, that's G00. The traffic will be coming in to G00. So we want to block it coming in. Okay. Now, the next one says you can try it out, ping from PC1 to server. So let's try it. Okay, it becomes successful after two attempts there. Um, and then let's try FTP and into it. So desktop. Man prompt. You can also ping from here, 172.22.34.62. We're getting good replies. And then um, FTP, 172.22.34.62. You see it asks us for the username. Um, again, you see it's working. Um, it's connecting to it so anyway that is all working I don't remember telling us the username but all right so let's move on to the next one we're going to do one for HTTP only so that only HTTP traffic can um, transfer so we'll go back to R1 and we're gonna do a named extended so we'll do IP access list remember that's how we started with all our named ones and this time we'll do extended instead of standard and it's going to be named HTTP only. So now we can just go straight into deny permit or remark. So we're going to permit TCP traffic 172.22.34.96.0.0.0.15 going to the server. So everything's kind of going to the server here, but this one is this network in the bottom right hand corner. Okay. So we're permitting, remember HTTP uses TCP traffic, okay, equal to www. So again, when we get that there at the end, you could have used port 80 or you could just type in www as the keyword. Now, we're going to also permit pinging or ICMP traffic from that network. 172.22.34.96.0.0.0.15 the wildcard mask to the server and again we use that ICMP keyword right there okay so then we can exit we got our deny any any at the bottom it says deny all of the traffic by default now we got to go apply it so it's close to the source as possible is right here G00 so we'll go to interface G00, sorry, G01. G01 is the closest to that land. So G01, IP access group, HTTP underscore only, and it is coming in to that interface. So again, it's the traffic from here coming into that interface is blocking. So for PC2, we should be able to ping from here to there, okay? And we should be able to go to our web browser. Let's type in the IP address of the server, 172.22.34.96. Oops, sorry, no. 
the inner you see it comes up there now that will not work from let's say PC1 172.22.34.62 see it's not coming up at all in that way okay so all of our uh, access control lists are working um, we see that it we got a hundred out of a hundred so that's how you configure extended you see there's a lot more parameters but you can question mark your way through it and it will really help you out